Welcome back to Kingdom Obsidian. -ian. It looks like we are starting our video off with another dream today. Let's check it out. Mysterious shuffling sounds slowly began to stir Lady Tabitha from her slumber. Oh, maybe it's not a dream. With sudden alarm, she realized that there was another presence in the room. Lying perfectly still, Tabitha quickly weighed her options. Take a peek or feign sleep. You know what? I'm gonna pretend that I'm asleep and see what happens. Hopefully it's not someone bad. Fingers crossed. Lady Tabitha steadied her breathing. As the sound drew closer, even with eyes squeezed shut, she was keenly aware of the presence hovering about her prone form. With a sudden soft rustle, the presence was gone and a lump materialized beneath Tabitha's pillow. Was it a tooth fairy? I think that was a tooth fairy. Like, what else leaves stuff under your pillow? I mean, I don't know, maybe there's something else out there, but I'd have to say that was like a tooth fairy or something. Alright, Lady Tabitha, it is 7.30. Oh, are you waking up? Nope, there's just someone in the room. Oh, no, she is waking up. Thank goodness. Alright, Lady Tabitha, it is morning time. Let's call for some food. And check out what we need to make, because we need to make mustache, mustache wax and fowl soup. So, we're gonna go check out what we need for that stuff. For mustache wax, I'm gonna need to get a bottle of ink, eel, and a leech. So, yeah, <laughs> looks like we have some playing to do before we d complete this mission. Let's get ready for it. Mow down this bowl of food real quick, and we will get on adventuring. Before we take off from the castle, Lady Tabitha needs to write a treaty of ongoing peace. Don't need, need any war going on right now, now do we? Lady Tabitha is heading into town to go look for some ingredients for some fowl soup. Lady Tabitha, the shiny things are not ingredients for food. Sorry, chick. Need to go to the other stall. Ooh, a bottle of ink we need for the... Wa the mustache wax and I know we need a leech I don't remember what the other thing was I think a pigeon will work for fowl soup I don't know I think we'd want like duck or something don't you? alright we're gonna get this pigeon anyway alright hopefully we got everything that we're gonna need I highly doubt it but we can hope right? <laughs> Anyway, she's headed back to the castle, and we will see what else we have left to get, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Nope. I need fowl meat for the fowl soup. I have ingredients for pigeon soup, though. <gasps> and I need an eel for the mustache wax. Ah! We are sending Lady Tabitha into the village shop in search for an eel and fowl meat. Sweet! Okay, so we have foul meat and an eel. We will be able to take care of the crab guy now. The crab bandit! As Tabitha picked her way past the village market stalls, she stumbled upon a curious and suspicious cavalcade of traveling minstrels. A sprightly cloth jester skipped forward and offered to sell Lady Tabitha a tangled sprig of fragrant, refreshing mystery herbs. Hmm... Am I going to possibly fall for a scam for 10 simoleons, or am I gonna just walk away? You know what? As queen, I need to keep my head on my shoulders and make sure not to ingest random herbs, so we're just gonna walk away. No thanks, announced Lady Tabitha with haughty wave of her hand. I don't eat herbs. Tabitha spun on her heel and with head held high, strode off through the village, a glowing example of moral fortitude in an age of wantonness. Okay, we are at the castle. We are going to make our mustache wax and fowl soup real quick and then head back down to the crab bandit. Woohoo! Making our mustache wax and some fowl soup. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. And guess what? Lady Tabitha's having to cook again. <laughs> so much for being queen, right? Gosh, so much work that. So much more work than expected. <laughs> <laughs> Cook 
took faster. This is taking forever. Yay! Ended up having to make some lunch before we head down to see the crab bandit. <laughs> Whoops. Lady Tabitha sure does have quite the appetite. Well, hello, Lucian. Goodness. That was a greeting. They haven't seen each other all day. They're just kind of... Yeah, they missed each other. I'd say so. But, you know what? Sorry, Lady Tabitha. Better make it quick. Because we have some potato soup that we have to make for the crabs. Because what if they're herbivores and not carnivores? Oh, jeez. Whatever will we do? Lady Tabitha's on another jaunt to the village shop. As the sun has gone... Now that the sun's gone down. Sorry. I am all sorts of jumbled up today. My goodness. I can't think. I'm fucking up the controls. It's all good. Potato, potato. Potato, 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 that is right, that's right, the queen walked all the way into town just for one potato, one single potato, but while we're out and about we'll go drop off the mustache wax with the crab man. Mr. Crabman, I got a kid for you. This time Lady Tabitha had difficulty finding the crab bandit's lair. She was turned around in the endless identical caverns. Finally, however, she stumbled across a small altar cut into the rock, complete with indentations that perfectly held the bottle of wax. How could the crab bandit have known? Hmm. Maybe he can see into the future? The request is complete. The crab bandit's mustache will be the finest in the land once more. Sweet. I'm sure the crab man will be happy with his new mustache wax. Now back to the castle so that she can make some potato stoop and then yeah, and then stuff. Loot loot what? What was that? I hope that wasn't a kiss. I really hope that wasn't a kiss. What was that, Luchin? I don't know, but I'm gonna keep an eye on those two. That's for sure. All right, Lady Tabitha, go make some potato soup. All right, she made the, oh, okay, so she made the tomato soup. Now a nice little kiss with Luchin to get rid of her dry spell thing she's got going on. And then we're going to send her to bed. Looks like there's going to be two days in this episode, maybe, guys. Luchin! Oh, is she serenading him? That's precious. That's adorable. Adorable. Have a rose, my love. Okay. And it looks like bedtime for her now. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, and she is awake and going to eat a breakfast. I need some food so that I can do my daily duties and do other duties too. While we're waiting, she's going to use the restroom and take a little shower or bath. Oh, yay. We are going to hold court for the first time in our kingdom. I have no idea what this consists of, but I guess we will see. Right now, all I know is she needs to hear three petitions. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Please stand. The King Ball Watchers Cup Tournament is scheduled for next week, but the league is completely broke. How can we hold the big game, Your Highness? Well, thanks to the choice that I just made, I am very adored by the public. Which, I guess, isn't a bad thing. It's not my public that I want to fear me. It's my enemies. Please stand. What is your problem, ma'am? My father will not allow me to marry, but I am in love and wish to marry my sweetheart. May I have permission by royal decree? <laughs> Fucking go marry whoever you want, ma'am. It's your life, not his. One more person left to hear from, and then we get to go see Mr. Crab Bandit. Crab Bandit. What is your problem? Great, when the equipment we use to test witches is considered outdated and barbaric, I ask you to finance some upgrades so that our equipment may be new and barbaric. Yeah, we're gonna give up that hundred. It's not that much. We can afford it. 
now that we are highly adored by our people, we are going to hunt and kill a great bear. Lady Tabitha is such a boss. Just held court, and now she's going to go hunt a bear with her bear hands. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Oh. Oh. All right, and we successfully got that bear. Now let's go see our crab man. Crab me crab man with his crab man mustache. His crab man stash. His crab stash. Crab man stash. Crab man stashio. Crab bandito. All right, Mr. Crab man. Let me get out of this bush and I got some stuff for you. I got some soups for you. One was made with goose and one was made with potato. Lady Tabitha thought about her choices in food preparation. What if they're pescatarians? She thought. Oh well. Oh goodness. Why is she so worried about their diet? Either they'll eat it or they won't. She's got two food groups. There's a good chance of it working just fine. So how'd it go, Lady Tabitha? How did it go? Those crabs shall eat like kings. That's it. All three requests are complete. I should try to meet with the crab bandit one more time to make sure that the alliance is finalized. Let's go finalize our alliance with the crab bandit. Crabman. The requests had been fulfilled. It was time for Lady Tabitha and the crab bandit to finalize the alliance between Obsidianian and the underground crab kingdom. She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello, she said to the beast. I'm here about the, uh, the tokens. Gratitude tokens? Something like that. The crab bandit gave a slight nod towards Lady Tabitha. A slight smile tugged at the corners of his crabby mouth. One of the smaller crabs scuttled forward and handed Lady Tabitha a magnificent mustache. Modeled after the crab bandit's own fanciful whiskers, the alliance was secured. Oh, so I have a fancy mustache too? I do. There's actually a legitimate mustache in my inventory. What am I supposed to do with it? Do I give it to this guy? Crazy old Cybeld want it? This mustache signifies our alliance. I should put it on and bask in the glory of the safer, stronger Obsidianian. Oh goodness. Let's wear it. Let's see. Let's check out our crab stash. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> like, that mustache is. It's, I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's staying for a second, I think. Look at their picture. I'm gonna lose it. This is ridiculous. <laughs> The alliance between Obsidianian and the subterranean crab bandit kingdom was complete. Better yet, Lady Tabitha had come out of the deal exactly one mustache richer, richer, which makes me the richest woman alive. This amazing badge of splendor could be worn at any time. I'm definitely going to wear it to one of my balls. I wonder what Mr. Luchin would think about it. Okay, so we are done with the Crab Bandit quest. We will be starting a new one in our next episode. Thanks for joining me again, guys. Take care. Take it easy. Peace.